Well, good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. A moment of great pride, the anthems. the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it To what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4 3 3. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. So we're up and running. Zinchenko. McLean gets it back. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Zinchenko. Zinchenko. Out towards the flank. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. Up to meet it! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Coleman drives it towards the front. Ireland get it back again. Battles to win it back. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. He's making good use of his strength there just refuses to be out-muscled. <laughs> Repelled by the keeper.
Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Long desperately wants to get on the end of this. Ukraine are enjoying the lion's share of possession, but nothing yet to show for it. Hoists it high. Out of play for a goal kick. Yarmolenko tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that had to be more accurate. And that's sprayed out wide. Zinchenko. Good clearance and very necessary. Has gone out. Stepanenko. And here's Yarmolenko. There are a few waiting for it. Hit into the middle. And he's there to hoof it away. And the counter is on. Long pushes to get on the end of it. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Oh, good interception. And he has been fouled there. And it's played forward. Zinchenko. Pings it out wide. it into the middle strong punch and it's Yarmolenko heading towards half time and it is still scoreless and here's Yarmolenko He's got the ball glued to his feet. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it then. Tries lifting it over. It's a goal kick. to locate someone up front. Defending of the desperate variety. Defenders on the back foot. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Hoists it forward. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. Ukraine head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Yeah, he's fouled him there.
stitch defending, but that'll do. Yarmolenko. Played back in. You can get that clear. And that's been won straight back. Forward it goes. Defence has got rid of that. Zinchenko. Stepanenko. Plays it out to the flank. Whipped in. Turns and goes back. Got a shot away! No, not quite. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's McClay. Oh, sweet feet. And here's the long. That's gone a long way up and away. Pumps it into the area. And he's cut it out. Hoists it forward. Looking to break out here. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And it's played forward. Yarmolenko conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. It's being played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Sinchenko. It is still anyone's game, nil-nil. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Hendrik. Tries to get it forward quickly. Played out to the right. Chance! <laughs> Hoists it forward. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Zinchenko. Forward it goes. Zinchenko. Ukraine showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Cuts it out. One final crack at it now. Dinks one in. A little chip. No, not quite. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Out to the left it goes. Ireland merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. There's going to be another change here. Sensation. 
Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. Coleman. Played in with accuracy. And it's Coleman. Lovely bit of skill there. Hendrick. Gorgeous control there. Now the cross. Good save, he got it. He's had a go! You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Yarmolenko. They're making life really hard for themselves. The ball needs to be in the mixer, not there. And that's it. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. Your final thoughts, Jim?